yeah hello everyone good afternoon uh, good afternoon to the discussion on current affairs related issues of history so in this session and further coming we'll be talking about whatever the current issue happened till the last week that we will be covering through this uh, so here not only from the prelims perspective but also from your main examination perspective and your interview perspective we will be covering various topics which are related to history and which are very very relevant to the current issues now so uh, this is a weekly current affairs uh, session on history we will be starting with so first news that was uh, very much in news is the personality of guru tegh bahadur so guru tegh bahadur very well known as the ninth guru of the sikh religion so guru tegh bahadur now why is he important is because this year we will be celebrating the 400 uh, birth anniversary anniversary of guru teg bahadur now guru teg bahadur was the ninth sikh guru ninth sikh guru he is the son of guru har gobind so guru har gobind was his father who was the sixth guru sixth guru of sikh religion so who was the sixth guru guru har gobind guru har gobind now guru har gobind right he is also very well known to give a militant way to the sikh religion so guru har, har gobind and now when it comes to the 17th century guru that is guru teg bahadur right so many of his teachings are incorporated in the guru granth sahib in the guru granth sahib now what is this guru granth sahib so after the 10th guru after the 10th guru that was guru gobind singh the guru system in the sikh religion that was stopped and now the scripture that is the guru granth sahib it was claimed as a guru now so many uh, thoughts of guru teg bahadur as are incorporated in the guru granth sahib the scripture so after guru teg bahadur the 10th guru the 10th guru was guru gobind singh guru gobind singh now guru gobind singh is very well known to give a militant way to the religion of sikh now during his time the khalsa pant that took a very very organized form and the five k's are very very important to this khalsa pant now what are these five k's we have k kangi kesh kada kachera so kangi kesh you have kachera kada and kirpan so this five k's make the features of your khalsa pant khalsa pant now uh, talking about guru uh, guru teg bahadur so talking about guru teg bahadur guru teg bahadur was executed on the orders of aurangzeb so he was executed on the orders of aurangzeb you see the timeline he is the contemporary of a uh, mughal emperor aurangzeb and you see now this is the time that aurangzeb due to his various religious policies due to his various deccan policies and the personality crisis of aurangzeb it is said in the history that the decline of mughal empire it all started due, due to the personality crisis of aurangzeb so it was the aurangzeb and his personality and his personality that started the decline of the mughal empire so ye jo decline hai ye kab start hota hai ye during the time of aurangzeb now 
various aspects are attached to this decline of Mughal Empire. But one of the major aspect was the religious policies of Aurangzeb, who during his time uh, created more enemies than friends. So, in ki Rajput ke against religious policies hai, against the Sikh their religious policies are uh, there. So, these were the reasons that this decline of Mughal Empire start. Now, there are other reasons too with the attached to the personality of Aurangzeb, such as the Jagirdari crisis. There were more, ja more Jagirdars and less Jagir. That is why the combination, that is the less Jagirs were available for n number of Jagirdar. So, this created Jagirdari crisis and that also led to the economic factor for the decline of Mughal Empire. We also have the Deccan policy of Aurangzeb which was not very very nice that led to the economic uh, issues in the Deccan and the decline of Mughal Empire. So, these are uh, some of the issues which are, at, uh, which are attested to this Guru Tegh Bahadur, the decline of Mughal Empire. Why? Because Aurangzeb is another personality which is uh, related to Guru Tegh Bahadur. Okay. Also, you need, uh, when this news is in connection, you need to understand what are the special features of the uh, religion of Sikhism. Okay. So, read about Guru Nanak. Guru Nanak and the foundation of uh, the religion of Sikhism, the Kartar Singh corridor and all these are in news. So, go through this news again and again. Okay. So, we have covered the context of Guru Tegh Bahadur, the personality, also Aurangzeb and the decline of Mughal Empire. So, this can be a question to you in your main examination also that even though the decline uh, even though there was a decline in the political aspect uh, still the other aspect such as the governance aspect that continued in other forms now veer kuwar singh veer kuwar singh so this personality again it is in news why because uh, in bihar they have planned to organize the birth anniversary of veer kuwar singh now, Veer Kumar Singh, why is this personality very famous? Because he was the person from the region of Bihar that led the battle of, that led the revolt of 1857. 1857 ka jo revolt hai from Bihar, he was heading that revolt from the Sipoy side. Right? So, from our uh, main examination perspective, what is important is the causes of this 1857 revolt. So, causes are very, very important for 1857 revolt. Now, what were the different causes? You have first, the economic factor that were responsible for this, right? The region of our, the region of Bihar, all this region were under the uh, various disastrous economic policies of the British and that is why people started suffering they went into the po the poverty po the impoverishment increase so this was a discontent among uh, the sepoys also because people came from the Awadh region and in 1856 already the Awadh has been annexed under the pretext of Miss Mal administration because the doctrine of lapse that did not apply to the Awadh region. So, that was taken under the pretext of a mal administration. Abhi a mal administration se ho gaya. So, who will suffer? The people in the uh, Awadh region. Awadh means very close to the Lucknow region. They will suffer in this, right? So, their discontent kis kaise bahar aata hai? 1857 ke revolt se. Now, these are a few of the economic causes, the administrative causes. Now, the real concern of this people or the sepoys were that they were bar, uh, that many clauses were put on this people. The General Service Enlistment Act it said to the people ki agar aap, if you are not cross, if you want to stay in the company's service, that if you want to be in the British Indian Army. So, you need to, uh, you know, sign this uh, rules. You need, need to be in sync with certain rules that even if you are sent outside, you need to work. 
so this was the rule that was given in the general enlistment act but people were very religious sepoys were religious they thought that crossing a sea will uh, will you know uh, give some of the religious uh, it will defy the religion sentiments so this were the reason that were given by the sepoys and now the discontent among this people increased when the rumors of adding of the uh, pig fat in the in the flour mill in the cartridge of the new enfield uh, enfield gun that was being given to the sepoy was was there so all these rumors led to the revolt of 1857 so when you are writing your answer do stress on the structuring of this answer ki political economical religious एंड इमीजिएट कॉजेस एंड डिफरेंट डिफरेंट कॉजेस होते हैं तो वो आपको अच्छे से लिखना है इस आंसर में सेकेंड थिंग आफ्टर दॉजेस इट्स द प्रोसेस इट्स द प्रोसेस ऑफ द रिवॉल्ट ऑफ एटीन फिफ्टी सेवन दट यू हैव एन नंबर ऑफ पीपल फ्रॉम डिफरेंट सेक्शन यू हैव द इंडियन सिपॉइज यू हैव द जमींदार्स देर आर कॉन्ट्रीब्यूटिंग टू द रिवॉल्ट यू हैव द जनरल्स ऑफ the british indian army they are contributing to the revolt you have the mughal emperor bahadur shah he is also taking part you have the queen rani lakshmi bai of jhansi she is also a part you have kanpur ka uh, th- from uh, you have the peshwa who is involved in this so zamindar hai peasants hai so lot of different section of the people are coming together to fight the revolt that makes this revolt a watershed in its process now a revolt is now taking place now different uh, people from different section are uh, are coming together to fight this revolt we see mangal pandey he starts the revolt right we have from the kanpur region nana sai peshwa whom after the third anglo maratha war subsidiary treaty ke baad he has been sent to bitur near kanpur who the nana sahib peshwa and to his help he have tantya tope he have tantya tope in the kanpur region so kanpur region mein who is there nana sahib peshwa but the sepoys ka jo main uh, area hai from the delhi who is leading the front from delhi bhakt khan general bhakt khan Bhakt Khan is leading from the Delhi region. Now, as you go towards Kanpur, uh, towards the Lucknow region, the main center of this Awadh region, there Begum Hazrat Mahal. She is fighting from the Sepoy side. So, Begum Hazrat Mahal. Hazrat. mahal she is fighting from the lucknow region from jhansi we have the jhansi ki rani lakshmi bai she is fighting from the sepoy side why because the jhansi ka heir right that is taken away the emperor empire is taken away from the rulers on the pretext of doctrine of lapse so your doctrine of lapse but if you are not having your own a child higher right it should not be adopted you your empire wouldn't transfer to your heir so this is the doctrine of lapse because of this rani of jhansi she was you know uh, she was into the war fighting from the sepoy side so different people were leading from different areas and now but the british came very very strongly suppressing each and every front each and every front was suppressed by the britishers in this and that is why due to unorganized form due to uh, not not having a very strong or a common leadership the revolt was uh, you can say that the revolt was suppressed it was suppressed theek hai but the revolt had a significant impact why because it was the government of india act government of india act of 
इंपॉर्टेंट Doctrine of lax is very important. You should know which are the different places associated with the personalities because this is asked in the examination. Okay, from your main examination perspective, you can be asked a viewpoint on this exam. That what are are the views, views of different personalities on whether it was a revolt, whether it was a mutiny, or whether it was an struggle for independence yes savarkar in his book he mentions that 1857 revolt was the first war of indian independence now after uh, this many many state governments in today uh, we can see that they are claiming uh, different tribal movements which have happened in their particular state at the first war of independence because they have uh they had ha they happened before 1857 revolt uh, you take the paika rebellion of 1817 which happened in the odisha region the paika rebellion and so different and even in uh, the latest the assam government has also claimed about the tribal events which were against the britishers at the first war of independence so these are the different views on 1857 so it is very important now temples in the odisha region are in use we have different temples in the odisha corridor uh, we have the puri temple the jagannath temple at puri we have the lingaraj temple and bhubaneswar bhubaneswar and we also have the sun temple at konark so all these are very important why because everything has every temple had the specific features a significant features are there of different uh, temples over here now in puri what happened in puri the puri heritage corridor project under augmentation of basic amenities and development of heritage and architecture now a controversy is been created now in puri uh, for the jagannath temple this a, a heritage corridor they want to develop so they not only wanted to develop the temple the uh, the garbagriha and everything but also the lakes around the streets around the various uh, bhojanales there are there nearby uh, the entry place so they wanted to develop so that it becomes a, a ideal place for tourism also so they wanted to develop this but the controversy is nearby if you are constructing something it will disturb the sanctum it is disturbing the sanctum due to the construction so aisa ye controversy hai so the given that the controversy is going on so we need to understand from the factual point of view ki puri mein what is there so puri has the jagannath temple jagannath temple so jagannath temple is dedicated to lord jagannatha who is also one of the avatars they say of vishnu or krishna also uh, now in this temple the jagannath temple they celebrate the yatra the jagannath yatra or the puri yatra is very famous related to this uh, now you also need to understand the deity which are placed in this jagannath temple is made up of wood ye वुड के बने होते हैं डीटी एंड देर आर थ्री डीटीज एंड दिस इज वन ऑफ द वेरी रेरेस्ट ऑफ रेयर टेम्पल इन इंडिया विच हैज ब्रदर्स एंड सिस्टर्स एज द डीटी जगन्नाथ है सुभद्रा है बलरामा है सो वी हैव द थ्री डीटीज जगन्नाथ बलराम एंड सुभद्रा सो ब्रदर्स एंड सिस्टर्स आर द डीटीज मेन डीटीज इन दिस पर्टिकुलर टेम्पल सो वेरी वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट द जगन्नाथ टेम्पल दिस इज अंडर द कलिंगा स्टाइल ऑफ आर्किटेक्चर दाइल ऑफ आर्किटेक्चर इज वेरी फेमस ओवर 
Now, similarly, the Lingaraj Temple Ordinance, right? So, Lingaraj Temple Ordinance was introduced why to manage the rituals and other activities of the temple. See, that is why this Lingaraj Temple is also uh, very well in news. But what is important about the Lingaraj Temple? Ki Lingaraj Temple hai kiska? which is the deity inside. So we have a Shiva, it's a Shiva temple dedicated to Shiva. But you also have Vishnu ke Murti Bha. And when you combine a Shiva and a Vishnu, so Shaivism and Vishnuism jab combine hota hai, the God, the deity that is being jo prakat hoti hai, that is Harihara. So that is known as Harihara. Right? Harihara is the name when Shiva and Vishnu are in the same sculpture. Okay. So, uh, regarding the Lingaraj temple, this is very, very important. So, Lingaraj temple in Bhubaneswar, right? In the 10th century, it was Somavanshi dynasty. Somavanshi dynasty, during that time, it was constructed. What? The Lingaraj temple. And some of the uh, specific features of this Odisha style of architecture, we will come to know. See, in Odisha style of architecture, the type of uh, temple structure, this is the Vimana is known as the Deul structure, Rekha Deul. It's known as the Deul structure, Deul structure. And the assembly hall, which is in front of the sanctum, the Garbha Griha ke aage jo hota hai, that is known as a Jag Mohan. So, this is known as a Jagamohan. Jagamohan in Odisha type of architecture. See, in 2000, uh, I guess 17 or 18, there was a question on the Kalyana Mandapa. That the Kalyana Mandapa, which is uh, respect, which is associated with the architecture, you will find in which kind of architecture. So, the answer to this was the Vijayanagar architecture. So, similarly, you may get a question on this. That the Jagamohan is does belong to which kind of architecture? So the answer is the Odisha style of architecture. ठीक है ये उसका architecture है. So different terms which are related to the Odisha architecture we have Natya Mandir भी होता है. We have a Natya Mandir also in the Odisha style of architecture, which is a hall of dance. Hall of dance. We also have the Bhoj Mandapa. Bhoj Mandapa, which is a hall of offering, जहाँ पे खाना परोसते हैं. Bhoj Mandapa, right? Then Jagamohan, the assembly hall and the sanctum is known as the Garbha Griha. So this is about the Odisha style of architecture. Also read about uh, the Konark temple, the sun temple because already a question in your preliminary examination have been asked on the sun temple ki kaha kaha pe sun temples hai. So uh, Konark temple, very very important. It's also in news recently. Uh, there was there was a news that the that the inside material of the Konark temple which was put during the Britishers time because Konark ka jo temple ka material hai that is not very strong so it was collapsing so when the Britishers noticed it they put mud inside or supporting materials from inside now that is being removed by the archaeological survey of India so you should read about this also now funny giri Funny giri. What do you mean by funny? Fun means uh, the snake ka jo in uh, it's a very uh, it's a very common uh, word that the uh, the snake ka jo standing position hota hai. So wo jab bahar nikalta hai. So that is the fun. That is called known as the fun. And giri means giri means mountains. Giri means mountains. So here, funny giri, it's a place, right? A place near Nagar, Nagarjun Konda. Nagarjun Konda in Telangana. In Telangana, there this site, it is belonging to the Buddhist religion. And whatever the, uh, the sculptures are there, they are in the, they are in the posture of this funny giri. So, the monastery's unusual name was probably drawn from its location on a hill and shaped like a snake's hood. Hood means it's a fun nikalte hai jaise. So that is why the name as Funny Giri. 
giri means mountain that is it is located in the mountains okay so the deccan gandhara connection in art and architecture visible in high relief of and three dimensional sculptures found in funny giri so here we have kind of a vihara structure that have been found over here just you need to remember that it is one of the buddhist site funny giri so you may ask the question you may be asked a question as to what is funny giri related to so this is important now gi tax gi tax also you can get in your examination a question right so recently the sale of this kashmiri carpets are very very increasing that is why this was a new so culture ke hisab uh, related this is a very important aspect now gi tag has already been given to this kashmiri carpets theek hai so you should remember this that the kashmiri carpets are also been given a gi tag narsingha fetai nagaswaran so it's an instrument basically a wind musical instrument of tamil nadu which is very famous for the carnatic music has been granted the geographical indication tag you can see the uh, picture of this narasingha pitai nagaswaran narasingha pitai nagaswaran it it also had a reference the tamil word for the instrument is karubi what is it karubi so karubi is it means the musical instrument right found in the sangam literature so sangam literature also you will find this so read about the sangam literature also so yes so this is about uh, yeah and we have some of the gi tags some famous products with the gi tags so if you go to the jammu and kashmir region you will find that the kashmir pashmina the kani shawls of jammu and kashmir are very very famous they are gotten they have gotten the gi tag if you go to the state of maharashtra we have varli paintings the paintings done on the walls on the walls where the paste is made by the rice and gum so varli painting nasik valley wine puneri pagdi mahabaleshwar ki strawberry and as you go in the tamil nadu region tanjavur paintings you see wherever the question in your culture is coming gi tags unesco's world heritage list intangible tangible both are very very important as a source ki aapko yahan se question trigger hote hain then you have the kanchipuram silk coimbatore wet grinder temple jewelry of nas nazer koli so uh then many of them are given over here you can go through the gi tags of india uh, at least one state even if you are doing in one day and quite information if you are collecting it will be very beneficial for your preparation so this is about the history current affairs for the for this week uh, stay tuned with us for the next week's current affairs thank you